Get the marshmallows ready, because this week on Theme Park Bar, we're bringing the campfire inside with a true Disney staple, the smoked turkey cocktail. <laughs> Hello, my name is Matt, and welcome to Theme Park Bar. I am a career bartender and an Orlando native who wants to show you how to make the best signature drinks from around the world and across the universe. Here at Theme Park Bar, we know that the best attractions are the ones served in a glass. The smoked turkey has been a staple at Disney bars for years and can be found on cocktail menus all over property. I actually remember the first time I had this cocktail was on my birthday, which seems to be a reoccurring theme on the show, from Crockett's Tavern while waiting for the Hoopty Doo review to start. The smoked turkey brings the flavors and aroma of a late night campfire. Using two types of bourbon mixed with lemon and a touch of smoke, this drink tastes will have sweater weather feels. And here's what you're gonna need. One and a half ounces of wild turkey, three fourths of an ounce of red stack by Jim Bean, two ounces of lemonade, half an ounce of grenadine, and half an ounce of simple syrup. I really could do a whole show on bourbon and just scratch the surface, but to give you a quick crash course, bourbon is going to be a type of whiskey from Kentucky that is made from a mash of corn and grains, such as rye and wheat typically. The mash is going to be distilled and then barreled aged for at least three months before it can be sold. However, most distillers let their products age anywhere from two to 25 years, sometimes even higher. I've encountered a few 50 year old bottles in my day, but there really is no limit. Our recipe today is going to call for two types of bourbon. The first is going to be Wild Turkey 101. Get it? Turkey, smoke, smoke turkey. Anyways. The 101 refers to the proof, which means this bourbon is going to be 50% alcohol by volume. Second bourbon we're going to be using is going to be Red Stag. This is a product by Jim Bean and it's a dark cherry infused bourbon. So let's go ahead and get this cocktail made. We're going to start off, of course, with our mixing glass full of ice. To our ice, we're going to add one and a half ounces of wild turkey. Followed right away with half an ounce of red stag. Come right behind that with our two ounces of lemonade. Half an ounce of grenadine. Half an ounce of simple syrup. Now lastly, for getting the smoke flavor in the drink. This is gonna seem a little scary at first, but it's a very simple process. You're just going to get a cedar plank that's used for grilling. You can get these at Walmart, Target, Amazon, any place that sells grilling supplies. After that, you're gonna to to get yourself a little blowtorch, get that sucker lit up. Whoa, no, no, absolutely not. No, what, what? no, but no, but uh, no. It's for the video. I don't care. Get, well, where did you get that? Okay, so my fiance won't let me set things on fire in the house. So I'm gonna pinch a single drop of liquid smoke is gonna give you that distinct smoky flavor. Now typically when you have a whiskey drink, you're gonna stir it, but because there's lemon in there, anytime there's citrus brought into a cocktail, you're gonna wanna shake it. I don't make the rules, I just work here, guys. Three and 10, give her a quick shake. Gonna pull up your serving glass and add fresh ice to this. You wanna take your strainer, pour that cocktail right in there. And we're gonna to wanna to garnish this with some good quality maraschino cherries. And these aren't your basic ice cream sundae cherries here, okay? You wanna make sure you get some good Gourmet maraschino, some fancy daddy cherries for this drink. Now the superstition in bartending that you always want to have an odd number of garnishes. Where that comes from, I'm not entirely sure, but I like to stick with it. Let's put our cherries right on top there. And there it is, the smoked turkey cocktail. Sweater weather right here. Let's take a little sip, get in there. Ooh, well oh, that's exactly how I remember it. This tastes like s'mores. Not not s'mores like directly, but I just, just, I can feel it. You know, does that make sense to you? Cherry bourbon lemonade with a smoky finish. I mean, how, how can you not just uh, feel like you're wearing a hoodie and some long jeans and just hanging out with some friends in a circle singing Kumbaya or something, you know? What I really like about this drink is it's very spirit forward. It's very 
there's not a whole lot of bells and whistles. It's bourbon, it's lemonade, it's a little bit of grenadine with the cherry flavor with that smoky finish. This is a grown up cocktail and I love it. Hey guys, thank you for joining me here on another episode of Theme Park Bar. If you haven't done so already, become one of my bar regulars by subscribing to the channel and let me know down in the comments below what cocktails you'd like to see recreated here. You can find me on all social media at Theme Park Bar, and if you decide to recreate any of our cocktails, be sure to tag me in your photos at hashtag Theme Park Bar. You can also check out the brand new ThemeParkBar.com where you can find all of my previous episodes and recipes in one place for you. Now remember when you go out to always be safe, Drink responsibly and never forget to tip your bartenders. Now, if you excuse me, there's a rocking chair over there with my name on it. Cheers.